paintings give us small glimpses into foreign worlds. They portray crazy characters, they picture horrific creatures, they tell us little stories, they show us magical places, or they portray things that seem impossible in real life. But the paintings in Peach's castle are different. They are not foreign worlds drawn onto canvas. They are windows towards real worlds. Princess Peach baked Mario a cake. Mario loves cake and so he happily accepted the invitation. But once Mario arrived at the castle, his worst nightmares became true. Not only was Princess Peach kidnapped by Bowser once again, but there was no cake either. If Mario wants to rescue his beloved princess and the cake, he needs to travel through all the magical paintings in the castle and he needs to free the magical power stars which are hidden inside them. The first seven of them live inside the painting of Bob Arms Battlefield. Bob Arms Battlefield is a battleground of war. For the longest time this place was a place of peace, but when Big Bob Arm got his hands onto a power star, everything escalated. The pink Bob Arms fight against the black Bob Arms and both sides seem to be equally strong. But maybe Mario's arrival finally decides the battle. So you ready? Let's play this. The first star of bob -Omp's battlefield is called Big bob -Omp on the summit and Mario's task here is simple. All he has to do is to end the war and bring back peace to this land. His best chance to stop the fighting is by negotiating a peace treaty with Big bob -Omp, who lives on top of the mountain in the center of the stage. Sadly for Mario, reaching the top of the mountain is no easy task. There are huge and dangerous water bubbles, which are shot by cannons into the battleground. There are cannonballs, which roll around on the path to the top of the hill. And there are bob arms, which are willing to explode themselves just to damage Mario. It's time to negotiate. But after a long and fierce discussion, the situation escalates. Maybe Mario said the wrong things. Maybe Mario is better at jumping than at talking or maybe Big bob -Omp is just incredibly jealous of Mario's fantastic mustache. We don't know. All we know is that their conversation quickly changed into an argument, which changed into a fight. It is an epic boss battle atop the hill in the center of the battlefield. For a moment the fighting stops and all bob -Omps are just staring at the fight that occurs in their middle. They witness how Mario makes Big bob -Omp fall on his back over and over again until Big bob -Omp finally gives up. The war is over and Mario saves the first power star. The second star of the stage is called Foot Race with Cooper the Quick. With the end of the war, many of the natural inhabitants of bob Arms battlefield seem to return home. Among them is Cooper the Quick. The Quick Cooper has a single goal in life beat Mario once in a fair race. Today he gets his chance. Under normal circumstances Mario wouldn't be willing to race a Koopa. But Koopa the Quick owns a power star and so our plumber has to. Sadly for Mario, this race is dangerous. Even though the war has officially ended, the path towards the top of the mountain is still filled with threats to his health bar. Mario still remembers how cannonballs almost crushed him when he was on his way towards Big bob -Omp minutes ago. So instead of racing the normal route, Mario decides to skip a part of the race by abusing a glitch which he learned about when watching speedruns. Starting and stopping to walk in really quick succession allows him to climb to the top of even the boldest slopes. And it allows him to skip some dangerous areas of the racing track. Thanks to this little trick and thanks to the fact that Cooper the Quick is actually incredibly slow, Mario manages to win the race and to free the second power star. The third star is called Shoe to the Island in the Sky. This star is one of the easiest stars in the game. Mario needs to reach the floating island, but in order to reach it, he needs to find something that is able to get him up there. Luckily, there's still a lot of old war gear lying around since the piece is only a couple of minutes old and the pink bob -Omps allow Mario to use their cannons. All that's left for Mario to get this star is to aim. Hooray! Only four stars to go. 
Mario's next mission is to collect the 8 red coins which are scattered around the battleground and while he's at it he will collect the 100 coins as well. The first red coin lives on top of these platforms, the second one on this little hill, the third one is guarded by a terrifying beast. Luckily our plumber is able to stun this beast by throwing a bomb towards it which allows him to collect the third coin. But sadly for him, he has to come back later to deal with this creature. Number 4 lives in this little tunnel, the 5th on this slope, the 6th can be found on the island in the sky and number 7 and 8 are placed here. Hooray! Mario got the 8 red coins, but he still lacks a couple of coins for the 100 coin star. Sadly for Mario, there are no more coins on the ground. But luckily there are still some floating in the air. Usually our plumber is supposed to get those with the wing cap. But it's the first stage and Mario hasn't got access to the wing cap yet. That's no huge problem here as he's able to get these coins if he shoots himself out of the cannons a couple of times which finally grants him star number 4 and 5. It's the next star which becomes a little bit complicated without a wing cap. The star is called Mario Wings to the Sky, but winging is no option. This poor power star only appears if Mario flies through these 5 coin circles before. While flying isn't an option yet, the dangerous cannons are still around. I hope Mario enjoys the feeling of being shot out of a cannon, because that's the only thing he'll do during the next 20 minutes. I hope Mario doesn't regret his decision to get this one without the wing cap. The first one is pretty easy to get. The second one requires a little bit more aim but is totally doable as well. The same is true for the third one but then things become a little bit trickier. Number 4 and 5 are invisible while Mario is inside a cannon so finding the right angle has less to do with aiming but with trial and error. Not sure if Mario is too happy about this. After a few tries Mario got the fourth one. Only one left. That's pretty fortunate because I believe Mario already started to feel dizzy. But with precise aim, he's able to collect the fifth and last coin. Hooray, a real plumber needs no wings to save his stars. Now there's only one last star left, but this star is the most dangerous star in this stage. This star is called Behind Chain Chomp's Gate. In the center of the stage lives a terrible chained chomp who tried to eat Mario before. Behind this chomp, a power star is imprisoned, guarded by this horrible beast. Mario needs to find a way to defeat it, but this is easier said than done. He isn't able to fight against this creature in a fair fight. He isn't able to defeat it by throwing stuff at it. He isn't able to defeat it by exploding bombs near it. He isn't able to defeat it by shooting at it with a cannon. He simply isn't able to defeat it. What is he supposed to do? Luckily, the name of the star gives Mario a hint. It's called Behind the Chain Chomps Gate. Maybe Mario's job isn't to defeat the creature, but just to trick it so that he's somehow able to get behind the gate. But how is Mario supposed to get behind this gate? Hmm. There has to be a solution. If there was only a way to somehow get behind these bars. But wait, maybe there is. It looks like Mario finally figured the puzzle out. All he had to do was to catch a Bob Omp which he already threw again mid-air in order to make it through these bars. That was a really strange puzzle. With this star saved, all the 7 stars of Bob Omp's battlefield are rescued. The war is over, Koopa the Quick decided that he needs more training before he races against Mario again. The cannons of war proved themselves useful even during peace. And for Mario, it's time to head to Form's fortress. There are still many power stars in between him and his cake. And his princess. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially explosive today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon. Goodbye.